Okay. Okay, I want to explain about deer horn knives a little bit. Is um, with the deer horn knives, this uh, this logo is the Wudan logo. It's one, like a, one of the Wudan uh, logos. Uh, this is all phases of the moon. So, in internal martial arts, the the moon is the most yang of the yin. You know, like there's the sun, but then the sun is full yang. It doesn't absorb and reflect. It just shines, right? But uh, you know, using the sun's strength and power and and force, the moon absorbs and reflects that force. That's internal force. So that's the that's the over uh, that's you know that's the power of yin overcoming yang. So that's what's uh, that's what happens with these uh, deer horn knives. Is the principles of that. And so every every uh, movement in here has that type of leverage it's never just like a you know like whack or like and so the movements like say you look at this one and you want to stab somebody you don't stab straight like this you move in this curve and you, you go into the body and then you pull outward so when you when you insert the when you insert the blade the blade will insert as your wrist is turning and and moving but when you come out and you pull straight you're cutting this entire half moon shape inside the body so if you if you cut downward and then out you would cut a beautiful half circle in the body if you turned and cut you could you, know, you could cut all different ways but it's not a straight stab in and a straight stab out there's there's a lot of different um, options there's a lot of options and uh, you know some of the leverage is uh, with this part of the blade which if you had an arm you could you could roll it this way like this type of leverage this type of leverage like this that's a lot of leverage so if you took somebody's arm and and you lever it into the back of the elbow you can get a lot of leverage and then any power you put from that or any slice you want to do from there like if you break if you take the arm and you break the arm or lever the arm, you could easily cut either from underneath or from the top as the person's arm went went over. And uh, if you know about suicide or you study suicide, you know people who cut like this, they say are really like they really don't want to commit suicide that bad, right? Like you want to commit suicide, you cut this way, right? So you want to catch somebody, and you come in on the the. Um, you catch the sword and come in on their arm and pull you're gonna cut all the way across here so they can't stop the bleeding right? or the other way is to cut this way and pull so if you're cutting in that way and you pull this this will just slice right in there yeah every joint lock and throw that you would have like in aikido or jujitsu would just need a little bit of a, a barb right into the technique like uh Aikido throws like uh, they say kokyu ho uh, uh, breath throw where the person comes running and then you just you breathe and you move and you throw them this hooked into the insides of the wrists or insides of the arms or up underneath the chin or tucked into the moving like that you turn they go <laughs> you direct they'll go they, they're not gonna fight you it's a beautiful energetic breath throw just like that and all the locks you know you want to lock the wrist you just come in there and lock lock right into the wrist you can lock right into the thumb and get uh, um, amazing grips into the thumb the wrist all those areas and you don't have to let go if you don't want to or you can tear your way out or you can you can stab your way in pull somebody right into a another cut it's it's a these are beautiful weapons they don't have to be this big either you don't have to compensate and get a really big deer horn knife you can get small deer horn knife even half this size and uh, when it evolves itself to Indonesia and the Kuntao um, which is the Kunun Kung Fu in uh, Indonesia then uh, they have uh, those karambit knives that have the ring on it and then that, that um, the curve to it so it's a lot stronger, more concealable knife that can kind of roll out and roll in. It looks like a tiger's uh, claw. 
but it will mimic any any part of this any part of this kind of uh, blade is just more concealable it will come out hooked like that it blades all over it so uh, we usually slice with these is uh, ghost points because the ghost points are maiming points so those kind of maiming points are at the wrist at the thumb uh, at the crook of the elbow which would which would stop you from being able to use a sword or a weapon and then uh, slicing here slicing up this way or under the tongue or under here you know into the up into the tongue this way and slicing across the back of the base of the skull and hooking into the base of the skull those are all the most easy places to hook into the body with these kind of knives and slice but once you feel the skin of your body flap you don't want to fight anymore the Achilles tendons the you know, you know what the perineum is <laughs> I know I know <laughs> I know <laughs> yeah. So uh, all the ghost points are for completely, uh, completely wiping out the mental ability to fight, and it it creates this uh, anxiety, a mania, a craziness, but also gives them a, a maiming. And so, uh, with the wudan sword, when we cut the first slice as it comes down, you know, of course we're using the the butt end of the sword first which is the first strike then the next strike is a grab so we get the butt end this is the fishtail part of the deer horn knife the butt end of the sword so in that movement and then the next movement is using this part of the sword which is the grabbing part or the slicing part and then uh, then we and we're able to maim the body somehow with one of these against the ghost points so most of the ghost points and then uh, the last part is where the the wrist dips and so when the when the sword cuts down it's hitting one of the maiming points but when the sword dips you lift your leg up and you get an extra foot of reach and that's where you're going to pierce the bladder the liver the heart lung depending on if you want to kill the person or you want to really maim the person incapacitate the person or stab into the brain somehow or across the across the body so every every technique it has a it has a purpose and so you know people who cut with the sword just straight up and down like this it's obvious then they don't know what the applications are because the the sword cut has to have a butt end strike a grab a, a, a slice to something and then the wrist um, coming up so that you can stab and then that's what measures the 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 movement of the strike. That's why the the, the movement is all the way down till it kind of uh, goosenecks. It's like a crane's neck. And uh, and so it's not for aesthetics. It's it's for energy work. It's for the follow through of the uh, how we use the blades. It's a really interesting weapon. So these weapons. You know, it's it's not easy to use. It takes work to use. Like you have to use your whole body. You have to use your waist. You have to use your core. You can see, like, if um, if I turn my waist this way, then I get slicing. I change and I turn my waist this way. I get grabbing, piercing, slicing, like that. I turn my wrists. I get sliced up. If I only move my hands, I only cut myself immediately. Wow! It's just immediate slices all over the body. But turn of the waist never cuts yourself. Turn of the waist doesn't cut yourself. Turn of the waist won't cut yourself. Any turn of the waist, you will not cut yourself. But you'll cut the other person. So, um, this is considered a long range weapon, longer than a sword, because when you hold it in your hands like this, say somebody has a spear, which is probably like six to seven feet to eight feet long if you if you put a, one uh, one deer horn knife like this you're gonna catch the spear then you the other hand will come in and slice the hand that's holding the spear 
or you can immediately turn down and slide down the spear and cut both hands. You can cut both hands off, you can cut thumbs off, you can, you can cut the first hand and then clip the thumb coming back and you'll, you'll uh, maim the person with the spear, they won't be able to use a spear anymore. But uh, that means that something this small can outreach a spear or a sword. The, so a hand has to be holding that weapon no matter how long the weapon is. So if you can deflect the weapon with one hand, you can go in and cut their, cut their wrist, their hand or their fingers with the other. And it is easy to just come sliding right down the weapon and catch it and cut it right out of their hands. And uh, it makes, it ensures like they're not going to pick the weapon up and use it again. They, they can't do it. So this is a, this is a really brilliant weapon. It's a brilliant weapon. You can't use it. You have to be doing internal Kung Fu to use this. You have to have internal principles to use it. You can't use it with any sort of forceful, um, you know, just hacking motion. You'll cut yourself immediately. So, um, you guys got any questions about this? These are, these are, um, these are really nice weapons. Wow. So, uh, you know, they they talk about how they use they use all of these. Um, and there's there's use for every single part of the blade, but uh, when you see throws and you see uh, locks, and you look at like how would you lock somebody with this? You know, just having somebody grab you by the wrist and you normally doing a regular lock like that. This just this hooking into their hands will pierce pierce into the hands, pierce in between the bones, and because it pierces in between the bones you got control over the person's entire arm so you don't have to lock the wrist you've got you've got the you've got the online radius locked with um, with a pierce and they may not be able to use that hand again but you have total control over their body so these um, so you can buy these anywhere but whether or not you can use them you'd have to you would have to really practice um, bagua to use it Okay. Okay, can can turn this uh, off. Thanks. Thanks, man. <laughs>